And, uh, yesterday, I recorded the video where I tried to do the maintenance in the car. I had some hiccups here and there. <clears throat> Main hiccup being, there was oil in my spark plug well. So, last night after work, I went to the auto part shop. Why did I say it like that? I went to fucking O'Reilly's. <laughs> and I bought a, a, the proper gaskets to put in it to fix that. Apparently, while looking this up, apparently it's really um, common in the engine that I have. And basically all Hondas before like a certain year. Um, or in this engine more than other. Anyway. Um, so, basically... The, the gasket I'm replacing is the valve cover gasket, the little, there's little O-rings that um, kind of seat um, where the spark plug goes and then when, once that gasket goes, basically oil just gets in, <laughs> so that's not good. Um, so yeah, so I went, I went ahead and bought proper gaskets here to replace it. Pro. So I got some shop towels because I'm going to be removing some shit, getting it really dirty. Got the cables that I didn't get to install yesterday. I'm going to do that today once I fix the problem. And yeah, let's get started. Okay, so I just went up and opened up the little uh, box that has all the gaskets in it. And actually, this is the gasket here, or this is the main gasket that goes around to the uh, the whole valve cover, which isn't a problem with my car. Mine is just fine. But these are the little O-rings and the grommets that I'm gonna be replacing. But I saw this one and I was like, "Hey, that's blue, just like the cables I bought." So if you can see that by any chance through the valve cover or something like if it sticks out on the side it's gonna be pretty cool because it's gonna it's gonna match all right so the first thing right, i'm not gonna set it up yet the first thing we gotta do is well i saw this on a lot of uh in a lot of forums it said to remove the ground off the battery i guess i'll do that i don't really see why i'm not gonna be messing with the electrical i mean Man, things could happen, but basically what you have to do, remove this little ground, remove all these nuts. Um, actually, I think I got all of them, question mark? No, yeah, so it'd be this guy, this guy, sorry, this one, this one, and this little ground here, and then basically take all the spark plug wires out and this... Uh, throttle cable here take just move it out of place you can unclip it here just move it all aside so you can take the whole valve cover off so you're just gonna get all these loose first and then I'll go ahead and take them all off so these are all just normal 10 mils what you'd expect in a car like this Alright, so here we go. I already removed everything that I needed to remove. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stick this little tool in here and try to just pry it up a little bit. Alright, so it looks like I kind of got it up a little bit. There we go. It's now coming out. Just need to get this cable here from the coil. Move this cable just a little bit. There we go. Alrighty. So I've got to remove these bolts here. I'll, sh I'll go ahead and sh point them out to you. I've got to remove um, the bolts here, 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 here. 
these two and then these two. I don't know if you can see those. This might be on like the sides of the shot. But um, the sequence I got to do them in is cylinder three, then cylinder four, cylinder one, two, then do these on the end and these on the end. Um, I don't know why exactly. That's just the torque sequence for these. That's how I'm going to have to remove them and put them back in. So I'm going to go ahead and do just that. By the way, for my specific engine, these are 12 mils. These smaller ones on the ends are 10 mils. Okay, so I got all of these loose to the point where I can just basically pick them up out of there. Um, I'm not going to do that though. I want to keep everything at its place for now. Um, the last things I got to do is I got to remove this bolt here. And then there's one on each side here. Remove those two. And then I'll be able to take the whole assembly apart. Alright, so I'm pretty sure I got everything that I needed to loosen up. Loosened up. So I'm going to go ahead and try and go ahead and get this guy out of its place so it actually feels pretty pretty loose right now let me go ahead and where should I grab it from there it goes easy alrighty got it loosened up and I'm just gonna go ahead and take it where I'm gonna work on it all right so here we go we've got it all nice and uh, out now <laughs> so June 10th June 10th that might be the last time they um they did a valve adjustment on this, which I wanted to do, however, I don't have feeler gauges, and I just don't want to go buy some just for this. I mean, it's only like $10 or so, but I've been spending too much on this car lately, so I'm just, I can go ahead and do that another time. Um, so, the main culprits for my leak are going to be, let me see. Whoa, it's nice and slippery. We're gonna be these guys down here. Or at least these are the ones that should be the ones. Actually, these look pretty fine. Huh. Oh no, yeah, this one's ripping. And let me see, I can't really get at that one. Or this one. Let me go to try to get those out a little bit um, actually just gonna use a screwdriver for this because I don't have any sort of other pointy device Let's see. try to oh, there it goes I mean they are a little hard and brittle 
but they're not as bad as I've seen some other ones come out. Yeah, this one ripped. I don't know. Go ahead and replace those. Let me see. So first, I want to just clean it up a little bit. So the gasket has a nice place to sit. Alright. So we got them pretty nice and cleaned up now. Um, so I'm going to go ahead. Put the new ones in. Let me see. Got two. Where's the other two? That's three. And here it is. And four. So no ones. These just go ahead. Go right in there. And And these have these little pinchers here that make sure you don't mess up and it makes sure they seated in there correctly. So that's good. Makes it kind of foolproof. Just kind of push it in there. So I want to make sure they're all the way in there. Go ahead and push this last one in properly. Make sure they're all in. And now, it is as simple as put it all back in. It's just the opposite of how you did it. So you also got to torque everything down to the right spec. But yeah, other than that, you're pretty much done. Oh, and then just replacing the, the gaskets on the head, on the cover. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put this um, back in and continue with the process. Alrighty, so a couple other things I'm going to do while I have the uh, rocker arm assembly over there is I'm going to come here and clean up where there was the gasket maker that they might have put on there um, when they did this previously, if they ever did. I mean, there is some, some gunky stuff in there that I can see. So I'm going to go ahead and clean that up. I'm also going to clean up where those little o-rings sit that I just replaced to make sure they have a nice mating surface and they do their job properly and I'm gonna clean up this whole whole gasket where the gas the other the head gasket is gonna sit or the cover the gasket cover cover gasket something like that where that's gonna sit so that has the proper mating surface um, also a little something I saw down here is a little piece of like junk in there that fell in. Same with over here. So I'm going to go ahead and pick those out. And then I'll be pretty much ready to put everything back in. And yeah, pretty stoked. Stay tuned.
All right. I got this uh, nice and prepped now. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab the rocker arm assembly and put it back on. All right. So, I'm pretty sure I got it seated down pretty well, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to kind of tighten these down a little bit, and just not, it's not going to be, I'm not tightening, yeah, I can't talk, I'm not tightening them down like crazy tight, I'm just getting them to the point for the torque wrench to actually torque them down, I'm also not torquing them down in the right sequence, um, I just I'm just gonna wait f to do that with the torque wrench. So I'm just basically getting them snug enough for the torque wrench to finish them off. Let me see. But yeah, everything looks good so far. So it's not getting tight at all. I'm just getting it all seated, basically. So you see, the more I tighten that one, the the more I can tighten these. It's because it's all not all the way down yet. Yep, now this one's loose. It's just a, a game of doing it all, of getting it all down together. see this 10 mil and these I'm pretty sure gonna be super loose yeah so I'm just gonna wait actually I'm not gonna I'm gonna tighten these even less than I did the 12 mils just because these 10 mils are at a lower torque range. So I'm just gonna barely tighten them at all. Let's see. This guy. Yeah, just barely tight at all. Funny story, I just got, um, or not funny, but just kind of, I don't know. My manager just called me. I work at four today, and my manager just called me asking if I want to open today. And I was like, well, I would love to, but my engine is kind of like not in, like kind of halfway not there right now. So I can't really go anywhere right now. And he was like, well, that's uh, good luck with that. And hopefully you're in on time tonight. And I'm like, I will try. That I will do. <laughs> Let me see. Yep. They all look pretty. Yep. Nice, nice. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and grab the torque wrench. And I don't remember them off the top of my head. Or maybe I do. I think these are 9 foot pounds, the 10 mils, the small ones. And I think these are all... Uh, 20 no I think they're 16 foot pounds so I'm just gonna go ahead I have a screenshot of of it um, I'll go ahead and take a look at that real quick and I'll be right back stay tuned okay so I've got my torque wrench set to 16 foot pounds of torque so I'm gonna go ahead do this first guy here There we go. Now it's this guy's turn. Almost. 
There we go. And it's now got to change it to uh, nine pounds of torque, foot pounds. All right, that's 10, nine. Then change it to the 10 mil. Let's see. I'm actually gonna need an extension for this one, pretty sure. Let's see. Already clicked. All right. So I'm basically just gonna do that in the same order I did it last time. So it's gonna be this piston, this piston, this one, this one, then these two, these two, and then the final three bolts. Everything is now torqued down to spec except for these three bolts right here this bolt and these two because I have no idea what torque those are supposed to be um, I don't think it'd be too tight um, considering how tight these were so I just kind of torque them down by hand just to um, just to, to feel I guess to where it it should go um, but yeah I got everything torque down I'm just gonna go ahead and reinstall the spark plugs which I have over here I went ahead and cleaned those off since there was a little bit of oil on them since we did run without the good oil gasket or the yeah whatever that's what I'm gonna call the oil gasket <laughs> um, so we're gonna go ahead and reinstall those and then we are gonna go ahead and put the cover back on and put some gasket sealer in that. So stay tuned. All right, so a couple last little things I gotta do. Basically, take these old little gaskets out, put the new ones in, and those go in here like this. Eh. Kinda hard to do while having the camera on my face. Or not on my face. Well, it's kind of on my face. I'm looking at the camera. But I'm just going to mock these on there. So just got to stretch them out a little bit to fit them on there. Because these are ovals, uh, holes. But these are circles, as you can see. But they fit just fine. I just got to either put the camera down or don't film. So, let's... Actually, I'm going to put it up there where I did all the other, the other stuff for that one. So you guys can see. Now, a good thing that came off because I don't need it anyway. I'll just go ahead and take it out of the here. see all looks good now I've got the new ones right here to replace them all right last couple of things I'm gonna do is reinstall everything that I took off and now I'm a uh, Bolt everything back up, get it torqued to spec, and we're getting pretty much done here now. Alright, so I went ahead, torqued all of these down, I put everything back, I put that ground to where it went, I put this throttle cable back, I put this, I put this back as well. Um, I, I haven't timed this yet, sorry, 
I've tightened this yet, but I'm going to tighten that little bolt down, the little 8 mil to hold the um, wires down. Um, let's go ahead and plug this guy back in there. And this guy, I just need to put um, connect it correctly again, and I'll be all done. But basically, that's that's pretty much it. Um, these little acorn nuts here, here, all four of them, torque them down to seven foot pounds. It seems like a that doesn't seem like much, but that's that's what the manufacturer wants. So um, that's what Honda set these to, and they actually print tightened down pretty well so feels just like it used to um yeah so i was gonna do the the spark plug wires uh in the same video i'm gonna go ahead and do a second video for that just because i figured this this video is taking a little long so yeah it's pretty much done one last thing i have to worry about in the car still got that speaker that doesn't work still have Honestly, this car has a lot of work, so there's a lot of stuff to be done. Stay tuned.